Good morning. This is Natalia Neparice. I, I work at the Yale Cancer Center, Yale University, and Department of Internal Medicine section of hematology. And I'm pleased to report that we have um, an exciting study um, and its genomic correlatives being presented at ASH. Um, this is a study that we performed at Yale University um, on myeloma patients who were newly diagnosed. Um, there were approximately 28 patients who were treated uh, uniformly with a um, treatment called KRD, carfilzomib, lenalidomide, dexamethasone. And these patients were evaluated before and after treatment with a whole body MRI um, to evaluate whether there's um, large, aggressive um, bony lesions that are characteristic of myeloma. Uh, we believe that some of these uh, highly aggressive bone lesions may actually lead to persistence of the disease and disease progression. And so these patients treated in the study were um, evaluated after treatment, again with MRI, and some of these lesion biopsies were performed for sequencing and genomic studies. And we observed that um, these lesions, and I, I should mention that myeloma is extremely diverse in terms of its distribution within the bones, and it tends to form these deposits, which may likely lead to uh, progression of disease over the years and uh, lead to the relapse. And that's why, unfortunately, multiple myeloma tends to relapse. So our study elucidated some of the genomic profiles that could um, implicate high risk for disease progression and recurrence. So this is an important study because a couple of these mutations that we noted in the lesions were commonly described as the MYC, um, MYC, as well as um, KRAS. And nowadays, um, scientists are developing great new drugs to target this mutation, so these mutations may in the future be druggable, so the findings of this study are relevant in terms of future therapeutic implications. Um, I also wanted to highlight a couple of really important progresses uh, in terms of bispecific T-cell engagers. Um, there's a whole array of bi bispecific antibodies that are being developed for multiple myeloma. The two major targets that appear extremely promising uh, for this disease specifically are the um, number one um, B cell maturation antigen, BCMA, and the second, uh, which appears to be next best target in multiple myeloma, is GPRC5D. And audience at ASH this year will present some of the updates of key trials um, from like Monumental um, uh, with Telquetamab um, and other um, um, RG. Um, by specific antibody, as well as alnuctamab and elranatamab. So these are some of the exciting um, brand new drugs going through phase one and phase two investigations, and they have shown extremely uh, high response rates and extremely promising for our patients with relapsed myeloma, and will likely uh, move front to the frontline treatment of myeloma. And uh, so we're exciting to have the progress in the field um, to save lives and prolong survival for our patients with multiple myeloma. Thank you.